This is GK Farms, where agricultural production is being significantly boosted through mechanized farming techniques. Subsistence farming has significantly decreased due to the mechanization of agriculture, allowing commercial agriculture to prosper. This shift has resulted in higher crop yields and increased productivity, enabling the production of more food on a larger scale. It has also opened up opportunities for exporting. In Tubakuta village, located in the Combo East district, Mohamed Jaro operates GK Farms, which focuses on mechanical agriculture. This country has a, a lot of potential, and one of the areas that has a lot of potential is agriculture. And I think uh, agriculture is an untapped potential that uh, Gambians, whether young or old, you know, uh, male or female, will actually venture into. This land, measuring 34 hectares, is dedicated to various types of agriculture. The agricultural sector is essential for generating employment, addressing food shortages, and generating revenue, as observed in developed countries where agriculture is the foundation for development. Mohamed is a young Gambian from the diaspora who returned to the country to venture into the field of mechanical agriculture, aiming to revitalize this sector through different farming methods. But it's extremely important if you want to invest in agriculture, whether or not it's at a small scale or you scale large, it's important to mechanize it because it makes your work uh, more efficient and it also gives you better yield as well. So we have a, a water network, if you can see from over there to here, we have about 250 meters and then up there is about 200 meters, right? So what we do is uh, we actually dug a trench about one meter down and then put a bigger pipes there and they put connections from that to uh, uh, to these pipes that you are seeing, these bigger pipes that you are seeing on, 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 on the surface there. And then we have uh, drip irrigation there. At GK Farms, various crops are cultivated in synchronized harvesting to efficiently meet the demands of their customers. At least three different varieties here that uh, we're using. The main one actually is uh, red onion. And the red onion is what we had on most of this that is currently harvested. And now we have this variety here. They're not as big, but they're you know, uh, also very good. Um, we, we, we don't usually do just one variety, we do different varieties because the market sometimes some may want this, other people may want that. Um, as you can see, we, you know, we're replacing onions with okra because we're targeting you know, the, 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 the summer season. Mohamed demonstrates his passion for agriculture by hiring experts in the field to enhance productivity on the farm. So I hire the right people for the job. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't consider myself an expert in it. I always tell people that, right? But you, you can see, you know, one of the guys you met here, Al-Fusen, al, -Fusen, al -Fusen so is one of the experts here. And then you have another guy called Omar Jalo, and then you have someone else who has, uh, you know, technical expertise as well. He's from Holland. So, you know, it's, it's just a matter of uh, having talent, you know, diversified talent that you can work with, that you can hire empower as well because this is not just about um, making money it's it's more than that despite common stereotypes that regard agriculture as a poor man's business Mohammed encourages young individuals to venture into agriculture for wealth creation and a decent life people may not understand if you actually have one hectare of uh, 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 onion for example it may cost you maybe three four hundred thousand dollars is to to do but you can make at least $1.5 million from that to $2 million, depending on what your yields are. For example, here, our, our yields, are, we are getting about 39 tons from one hectare. So if you do the calculation, 39 tons from one hectare, each onion bag is about 18 kilograms. So you're making over 2,000 bags from just one hectare. Additionally, he plans to utilize the increasing number of cattle on the farm for dairy farming while also using them to produce organic fertilizer. When you actually put a crop in a place that you know has cows, your yields actually go up generally because it fertilizes the place and it's extremely useful. And that's why we're having cows there. We move them from one place to another on purpose. That's what they were bought for. 
And now we're thinking of bigger things now, like dairy farming, because there are a lot of cows. But now as they reproduce, we're having new cows, we're getting milk, and then we're asking questions, can dairy farming be part of this, this uh, venture as well? Further progress has been made as onion harvesting and packaging are in full swing at GK Farms. Our conversations with some of the female employees on the farm illustrate their involvement and dedication to the farming process, which they describe as a rewarding adventure. Apart from Jabu, no one is saying not a kind black and yoga. I had none of the bringing Jabu Kumasta Kamu, until Bukajabu San Marciacon, Mugasan Bitikot, Ninjabu and Bekamuna Fanila and Sulu and Dina Dimbaya. Agriculture, an essential practice for sustaining human life and generating economic profit, requires a combination of creativity, imagination, and skill all integrated with modern production methods and advanced technologies. For TFN News, Dauda Balde.